Thank you. Scott Hansen looking on from the outside. Doesn't seem to... Scott think... Hansen playing cheerleader in this match. Yeah, he doesn't really seem to think that he needs to be a part of this. He thinks makabe has got this match locked down without his help. But it looks like that, but who knows? I mean, Dallas Klein has been known to pull off some pull off some amazing feats in, in his career here in the BBW. Dallas Klein with a drop toe, uh, drop toe hold, sorry. Working on the knee of Maccabi now. Yet again, both men showing their technical skills. That, that they are. Now, me personally, I don't know how you feel about technical wrestling. No, 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 me personally, I love it. I love watching technical wrestling, you know? It shows a lot of skill. It's definitely a different style of wrestling and something we are not used to seeing. Definitely it's definitely not. an innovative part of the BBW. That it is. It's worth watching though, and the reviews have been good. Hey, as long as the reviews are coming and we're getting paid, it's all good. <laughs> Dallas Klein seems to be up on his feet for the first time in this match, waiting for Daniel Makabe on the attack on that same leg that Makabe, uh, that Dallas Klein, sorry, was working on before. That is true, and going back to what we saw earlier in that, uh, you know, backstage, now they said they're going to get some girls for sex. Now, judging by this match, I'm guessing that Makabe likes to be on the bottom. He has been on his back a lot during this match. That is true. He's definitely not on top, if that's what you're saying. Well, then again, you know, me personally, I prefer being being on the bottom. You know, then you don't have to do any work. At this point, at this point in time, you have to wonder if Daniel Makabe's head is elsewhere thinking about sex and not about this matchup because. Right now, he seems to be in a lot of trouble, but he seems to fight back here. Oh, some, some big punches of forehead there at Dallas Klein. He still got his leg. He missed the Inseguri, and he goes down, this time on his stomach. Maybe that's going to tell us something different about Makabe. This is definitely something we're not used to with Daniel Makabe making his BBW debut here tonight on Wednesday Warfare. An unbelievable addition to the BBW roster. Or VCW roster, I should VCW. say. VCW. He's not BBW. Something that really hasn't been talked about as of late. No, I have. We seem to be having three factions forming in the BBW. We have the BBW, led by Eric Cage. We seem to have the VCW, led, led by Scott Henson. Yes. And the OTB, led by our world champion, the GOAT James Blade. And it seems that people are picking sides. Alliances are beginning to form. This is true. This is true. And me, on the, me uh, in my case, I'd have to go with the OTB. They've been around since the beginning. And they have the world champion on their side. And, and they, the Canadian champion. Yes, the Canadian champion, the world champion. You know, they're unstoppable. That they are. As Danny McCauley makes the pin, this could be it. No, two count by Sean and stuff rapping. As Scott Henson does not look impressed. Not a lot of pinfalls in this match. Definitely not. They're definitely going more submission than yeah. anything. Daniel McCabe picking up Dallas Klein. You see, he's limping now. That just shows that Dallas Klein has been has has taken a toll on that knee. Little insult, add insult to injury as McCabe with a little slap to Dallas Klein. See Both what I mean? He's down. down. He's down. His knee is in pain. If not, he'd be on top of him right now. Both men looking tired at this state in the match as they've been going for quite a while. Very true. Looks like he's just going to take a little breather down the middle of the ring. Definitely a slow part of the match as McCabe works on the arm of Dallas Klein, wrenching on that shoulder that he was working on some time ago. Yes. <laughs> Folks, as said earlier, main event material yes. taking off foul play at Bragging Rates. Street fight, balls count anywhere, no DQ. I am looking forward to that. What? Who, do you, who would you pick for that match? To be honest with you, I'm not really too sure. I, can, I like what main event material has done, but on the same, but at the same time, foul play has been dominating as of late. This is true. This is true. However, however, what, t -Bone? I'm sorry, I got, I got a little distracted there. However, they, main event material. Sorry, they did take out two big guys in Scott Henson and Yakuza J at on the previous warfare. Yes, but let's not forget that they did it. Not the proper way. What are you talking about? A steel chair? They're champions. They can do whatever they want. I have to disagree, but let's get back to this match. It's Dallas Klein picking up the slow to get up. Daniel Makabe. Why is it you never agree with me? I just don't like your ways of thinking. What's wrong with my ways of thinking? You don't like the right way of thinking? Anyway, Daniel Makabe shots to the face to Dallas Klein. One more for good measure. Obviously not. Dallas anyway. Klein trying to block, but unsuccessful. Huge Sherman suplex just throwing him to the corner. Dallas Klein looks limp in the corner. 
as does Makabe. They're both down. This match has been impressive. I am very impressed with the debut of Daniel Makabe. This could be it. No, he's but on the rope by Dallas Klein, Sean and stuff wrapped and sees it, and Henson is not impressed. No, he's not. And something's happening to your voice, or <laughs> Makabe bouncing off the ropes, looking for a shoulder or a clothesline. Sorry, Dallas Klein blocks it, picks him up. This could it's, be it. Is it? Is it? Did, this could be the Wait. Kryptonite Crunch, folks. Kryptonite Crunch, huge move. This is it. One, two. Oh my God. Oh my. First person ever I've seen kick out of the Kryptonite Daniel Crunch. Daniel McCauley kicking out of the Kryptonite Crunch. No wait, no wait, Eric Cage did kick out, I'm sorry. Second person. Dallas Klein not happy about it, but McCauley doesn't care. Oh, but Dallas Klein with a huge kick to the balls of McCauley. And he's not, he's not a champion, but I say he's alive as well. Going for a second Kryptonite Crunch, McCauley blocking it. Wait a second, McCauley. He's got him down. Wait a second. Oh my god. Look at this submission by McCabe. Dallas that Klein stuck in no man's land. Wait a second. Wait, wait. Dallas Klein is tapping. He, did he tap? Oh my god, Daniel McCabe was an impressive debut here in the BBW as he just made Dallas Klein a member of the OTB tap out. Very, very unorthodox submission move there, but obviously got the job done because Dallas Klein tapped out. Never have I seen Dallas Klein tap out before. Though he looks funny on the outside, Daniel McCabe is definitely someone to be taken seriously as he had just pulled off the huge upset on Dallas Klein. He best friend before, after, 50 years from now after Brighton Brace. So you know what? Here's to a good match. I'll see you there. Oh. Who's the fruit now, huh? <laughs> we just witnessed Mercury absolutely destroying the newcomer Little Chicho. And folks, it has been set for bragging rights. Little Chicho and Mercury in a battle of newcomers. Personally, I put that more as a battle of respect. But we'll see what the upper man has to say about that. Anyways, the match is set for bragging rights. And here we are with Scott Idol, one half of the tag team champions, entering the ring for his match against Jimmy Dean. The three Jimmy Dean, yes, set to take on one half of the tag team champions. Thanks for repeating exactly what I just said. Anytime you want to make sure I get it across the plan. Man, how about those BCW guys? I'm a car that you bitch, eh? Yeah. What's up with those guys? I don't know what's up with those guys. Remember last time? What's up? Fuck. We're gonna take this fucking soap and the bright words. Absolutely, man. Team BCW. Mm -hmm. Right now, you got a match? I hear your music? You better get out there and show time. Good luck, bro. See you later. Impressive words from his friend Mike Dempsey as the Dream Jimmy Dean makes his way out against Scott Idol. And folks, I've been waiting for this match for a while. Announced early on BBWonline.com. And this is the selling point for tonight's Wednesday Warfare. Yes, it is. It is a very huge match. We're looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Seeing one half of my favorite tag team going up against, against a uh, BBW member. Now, Jimmy Dean and uh, Mike Dempsey have formed quite the companionship. Yes, actually. I was just about to actually talk about that. What is with the special bond that the Dream Jimmy Dean and Mike Dempsey have formed as of late? They seem to be hanging out more than ever, more than any other superstars do in the back. Very, very true. Maybe it's just because they're both VBW. They feel that they should get to know each other, get inside their brains. Inside each other's brains, you know. Get to know how each one, how each one of them work. Well, it seems definitely valuable as... A VBW has been kind of old, being overshadowed by the OTV and the newcomers VCW as of late. So maybe making friends with each other isn't a bad idea, Tebow. No, maybe it's not, but where's Eric Cage in this picture? That's something I'd like to know, and maybe that's something we need to ask Jimmy Dean and Mike Dempsey. But right now, both men locking up. Scott Idol and, Jay, and Jimmy Dean lock up. 
so the Scott Idol with a drop toe hold on to Jimmy Dean, and Jimmy Dean looks does not look impressed. So far looking very impressive in this match. I haven't really been paying full attention to you. I've been also watching the match, because that's my job. I'm a commentator. You know, obviously you're not doing your job properly by not talking about the match. Shoulder blocked by Jimmy Dean as he runs across the rope. Scott Idol comes back for another clothesline, and Jimmy Dean gloats to the fans because he is the creamiest, steamiest, and dreamiest in the BBW. I beg to differ about that. I don't I don't think he's the creamiest, steamiest, or the dreamiest. But, you know, we all have our different opinions. Let's remember what we saw tonight at the top of the show. Scott Idol and Wicked T absolutely demolishing foul play in what we saw outside in the parking lot. That is true. They just they totally showed who's boss and who is the tag team champion. That is true. Definitely something to be taken seriously as Scott Idol goes up against the Dream Jimmy Dean here. But, G but Jimmy Dean does not look intimidated as he sends Scott Idol across the rope to the other side and comes back with a huge arm drag takedown. Huge arm drag takedown there by Jimmy Dean. And Show showing the, uh, I guess I guess we'd have to call uh, Scott Idol a rookie in this match. He hasn't been in very long. Huge neck breaker there. Definitely not looking like a rookie right now as Scott Idol with a huge neck breaker, neck breaker and picks up uh, the former hardcore champion, Jimmy Dean. Yes, former hardcore champion is right. And, uh... <clears throat> Yes, Jimmy Dean is what I guess could be considered the veteran in this match. However, they both shown a lot of professionalism. Huge crescent kick there by Scott Idle onto Jimmy Dean taking the guy down. Very impressive by Scott Idle. This could be it. It's over. No. Jimmy Dean kicked out. Not enough to take him down. Close, but not enough. Well, our referee Michael Hardnob counting this match. Very close count there by Hardnob as Scott Idle picks Jimmy Dean up for a huge suplex, sending the dream back down to the mat. A very nice suplex there by Scott Idle. Now, is it just me or does does Michael Hardnob seem to change sizes every show? It doesn't really matter at this point in the game because I'm concentrating on this illustrious match as the dream Jimmy Dean seems to be in a lot of trouble here by the one half of the tag team champion Scott Idle. Huge, huge kick there to the back. Those are devastating kicks. That has got to hurt. It's going to take a take their toll on the back of the Dream Jimmy Dean. Well, like we talked about before, Tebow, Scott Idol is definitely someone not to be taken lightly. Definitely Even not. though he jokes around, his seriousness comes into play when he's in the ring. That is true. That is true. And with Wicked T alongside of him, you have to take these guys seriously. They're the first ever tag team champions. Well, he's definitely a mat technician, and he's showing it here as a sleeper hole is applied to Jimmy Dean. And Hardnob begins the arm raises. Oh. We see two. There's Could two. it be three? Could it One be One more, right the here? match is over. It's dead. No, it's up. Jimmy Dean fighting. He's very resilient in this match. He's fighting back with some huge elbow to the gut of Scott Idol. Jimmy Dean fighting back from a huge sleeper by Scott Idol and comes back for an amazing move by the Dream. This could be a deal to you. One, two, two. No. Scott Idol kicking out. Very close call there. Very, very close call. If Scott Idol had not, I guess I'm, I'm guessing he went by by the, his uh, sense of hearing there, and if he couldn't hear, he probably would have been pinned for a three count. Jimmy Dean coming back for a huge hurt. Can run on one of his patented moves as of late, and he goes to the pin. One, two. Very unorthodox by Jimmy. He's not very much known for his, for his high flying skills there. Well, his style has been changing of late, and it has been working to his advantage very as true. he has been winning matches. Very true. Very, very true. And he's become one of the top three top three members of the BBW as of late. Definitely well said as uh, Scott Idol whips Jimmy Dean across the ropes, coming back, picks him up. What is this? Oh my Dude. god, head scissors take down by the Dream and Scott Idol rolls to the outside. Once again, more unorthodox moves there by Jimmy Dean. And Scott Idol has to take a breather. He has to breathe. Wait a second, T-Bone. Jimmy Dean off the top rope. Axe handle to the outside. And Scott Idol is down. Idol is down and out. And he wanted to take a breather, but couldn't get it very much. The Dream Jimmy Dean he showing is, unbelievable passion in this matchup. He is on fire. Goes for the suplex, but Idol blocking. Punch to the gut by Idol. Oh, oh ramming point. his back into the mat, into the canvas there. Once again, working on the back. He had the he had the one huge kick to the back, and now ramming his back into the ring. That has got to be that has got to hurt. It can't be pretty for Jimmy Dean. Scott Idol using his chair to get back in the ring. Both men back in the ring now. Is Scott Idol picking Dream Jimmy Dean up from something that looks absolutely devastating? Could this be? Oh, my. very pain. Oh my God! What a move! I don't know what he's calling that, but a very huge move. Almost a three count by Scott Idol. I thought for sure it was going to be over, but Jimmy Dean 
showing his resilience, want, kicking out he wants this match. Both men showing unbelievable passion here in this Wednesday warfare as Scott Idol picks up the limp Jimmy Dean. Explosive match as of late, and he could be setting up. Looked like he was going for the Thundercracker. Something went wrong there, but Scott Idol coming back. Dream Jimmy Dean, wait a second. It's what? the one way ticket of the dream. Oh land. my god, this could be it, folks. The count. One, two, two three. The dream.